In 2022, Kyochinku's net worth will be $5 million. His monthly income can be approximately $72,000 to $82,000. However, he didn't earn that much at the start of his career. When he still was very young, it's known that he made around $40,000 for the movie Hawaii, A Monster Boy and approximately $30,000 for his successful appearances in The Moon That Embraces the Sun and Missing You. Nevertheless, such earnings made him one of the richest child actors. Today, he's a famous actor, model, and brand ambassador with more than 4.5 million subscribers on Instagram. Speaking about the actor's private life, he likes to keep it secret. During one of the interviews, he revealed that he wanted to get married early when he was younger. He also added that he was a little bit envious of Sung Dong Il, a Korean actor who has a beautiful family. He couldn't believe it, but according to the star, he has never dated anyone in his life. Chinku started in a boys' school, which made him shy around girls. What's more, he was always busy with his acting schedule, so he didn't have a chance to find a girlfriend during his school years. His friends had even set blind dates for him, but he couldn't find an ideal partner. It was a big surprise for his fans, as the actor can play a perfect lover on screen. When Ayu and Chinku starred in Hotel de Luna, their chemistry was unbelievable. So, many people assumed that the two were dating. The actress always praised the colleague for his professionalism, visuals, and kind personality. She said that he was very caring and helpful both on and off screen. Netizens started to create theories about their probable romantic relationships, but the stars never confirmed this information. It seems that they decided to stay good friends. Some senior actors recommended Yeo Chinku go on a date with someone as this experience can give a better understanding of love and how to show it. However, in recent interviews, the actor revealed that he wants to focus on his acting career and has no intention of dating anyone soon. Contrary to the majority of parents, Hyo Jinku's family had always supported young talent. The boy wanted to become an actor, so his parents let him attend acting classes, which led to his debut in a romantic melodrama film called Sad Movie in 2005. Although Jinku was just 8 years old at the time, he portrayed his role perfectly and was recognized as a rising young actor. He played childhood or teenage versions of the leading actor in the next few years. Because of that, he even got the nickname Nation's Little Brother, as everyone knew and loved him. Starting your career at a young age can help you get a lot of practical experience. But on the other hand, you won't have a chance to enjoy an ordinary child's life. The actor said that he sometimes regrets that he didn't have time to play with his friends or date a girl and was always very envious of others. During his 15-year-old career, the star tried different roles, but one of them was quite special. In the startup TV series released in 2020, he lent his voice to AI speaker Young Sil, which could predict the future. Shinku said that it was a fun experience as it didn't appear in the drama until the final episode. Originally, the director didn't want to reveal a real person behind the AI speaker, giving the audience chance to guess it themselves. Fortunately, he changed his decision then. The actor said that his fans recognized his voice right away, but some of his close friends didn't, which was quite surprising for him. One of the most successful roles played by Hyo Jin Koo is undoubtedly Gu Chan Sung from Hotel de Luna. According to the actor, this character has a very similar personality to his own one. Both of them are down to earth, timid, and value self esteem a lot. However, as the shooting went on, Gu Chan Sung amazed the star with his action and mindset. He was curious how this character would react in different situations, so Chin Koo joined a cast out of curiosity. What's more, Hotel de Luna made him think about the hotelier's responsibilities. The actor was never interested in this occupation, but when he read the script, he started to look back at the times when he stayed in different hotels all across the world. This job requires a fast pace of work, intelligence, and a high level of discipline. Nevertheless, Chinku says that he would probably become a good hotelier if he wasn't an actor. Blink, Eat, Love, Kill, the highly anticipated new drama from Hyo Chinku and Moon Ga Young would have had an entirely another cast. The leading role was offered to a famous actor, Kim Sun He, but he declined it. Hyo Chinku was the next candidate for the role, but he wasn't sure whether to join this project, as his character was unique. Un Gyuhun has great empathy and can feel the emotions of the stranger. The emotions invade him without notice, so the actor's task is to show this process as naturally as it's possible. A lot of people think that evil characters are more difficult to act as their range of emotions is quite wide, but some actors claim that it's not easy to portray positive characters. Surprisingly, Kyo Jin Koo agrees with that. As for him, comedies and romantic dramas are the hardest genres to play, as the actor has to provide a cheerful and bright image. 
He's confident about serious characters with a complicated background, but he finds it difficult to play silly and funny characters. However, as we can see, the star pulls off any role he gets, showing everyone his true professionalism. When Yojinku isn't busy with his schedule, he likes writing poems. At first, he tried to write a script as he read a lot of them while preparing for roles. However, the actor found out that he wasn't skilled enough to write a long text. That's why he decided to try a shorter form and succeed in writing poems. Poems help him to express his feelings when it's needed and think about some important life moments. Shinku watches a lot of YouTube videos related to writing techniques and practices his style. Although the actor doesn't want to reveal his writing drafts, it's possible that one day, fans will be able to see a new poetic side of Mr. Yo. The actor is also known as an entertainer as he took part in some TV shows. He traveled to Italy and Vietnam in I'm Real, Yo Jinku in Italy and Giving from Jinku Oppa. In 2018, he became a cast member for Four Wheeled Restaurant, a cooking show which was quite popular. Two years after, the actor joined the cast of House and Wheels, where he traveled across South Korea in a wheeled house and invited guests to stay for a night or two with a team. Last year, he became a Planet Master or MC on a survival show, Girls Planet 999, which created a Project Girl group called Kepler. His interactions with judges and participants were very adorable, so many viewers praised him for excellent MC skills. Being one of the most recognized celebrities in South Korea, Hyo Jin Koo has a lot of star friends. He is close to Jungkook from BTS and such famous actors as Kwak dong Yun and Park bo -gum. The actor said that his friends couldn't believe that he had a chance to meet them, as he's quite shy and rarely starts a conversation himself. Although all of them have their own schedule, they sometimes go to cafes to talk about their daily life. But now, let's move back to Yo Jin Koo's childhood and discover how he lived before global fame. He was born in Seoul on the 13th of August 1997. The future actor is the eldest child in the family and he has a younger brother. As you have already heard, the boy was very talented and started his acting career at the age of 8. He did have a chance to attend school regularly, but he entered Cheung Ang University after finishing high school. It is known that he still studies at the university, majoring in theater. Starting as a child actor, Hyo Jung Gu transferred to leading roles and most of his projects were very successful in South Korea and abroad. He gets new offers almost every day, and despite being one of the most skilled actors in the industry, he's always ready to learn and try different roles. And that's all for today. Are you going to watch Link Eat Love Kill? And what is your favorite K-drama with Yo Jin Koo for now?